In this presentation we are going to look at membership tables and Venn diagrams and see how they interact with each other. So the first slide is this, we're just going to have consider the sets A, B and C and these are subsets of the universal set U. Now a Venn diagram can be used to demonstrate how these universals, the universal set, uh, can partition, be partitioned by these three subsets into eight disjoint regions. And membership of these regions can be indicated by a membership table. So let's look first off at the three subset of subsets of the universal set. We have A, B, and C. The rectangle there indicates the universal set. We have the subset A, the subset B, and the subset C. And as you can see there, we have some intersection regions there as well, which is important. So altogether, there are eight regions, and we're going to talk about each region individually. But well, first off, let's talk about a membership table. So a membership table uh, indicates, uh, so there's a membership table for each of these eight regions. And I'm going to talk, I show, demonstrate each of these eight regions here. But uh, in the first instance, uh, uh, we would have 0, 0, 0. This would indicate that the first region is not part of A, the first region is not part of B, and the first region is not part of C. So it's outside all three of those regions. So uh, what we're going to do first off is just for the sake of simplicity we'll have a little code that I'm going to use from now on so the 000, zero region it just to sort of uh, very crudely indicate that it's not part of A and not part of C and not part of B and not part of C so let's look at the first of these regions here 000, zero. let's see what that looks like on our uh, uh, Venn diagram the 000, zero region is the region that is outside all three of those. Now it's not part of A, it's not part of B, and it's not part of C. So it actually is everything outside the area covered by those uh, circles. So it's actually the outside region, uh, uh, between uh, everything outside those subsets in the universal set. So that's straightforward enough. The next one we're going to look at is the 001 region and this is part of C only. So it's not part of the A region, it's not part of the B region, but it is part of the C region. So where do we have C on its own? In that region there that is shaded in. So that's the 001 region. We would have the 010 region. Now this is part of B only. It's not part of A, it's not part of C, but it is part of B. So that will correspond to this region here. And again, you can sort of see that it's not it's enclosed by B, but outside of A and outside of C. Moving on, we have the 0, 1, 1 region. So this is the first of the intersection regions we're going to look at. So we it's a part of it's 0, 1, 1. It's not part of A, but it's part of B and part of C. So it's the part of the intersection between B and C that is outside A. So it's represented by that shaded region there. Next we have 1, 0, 0, and that is part of A, but not part of B and not part of C. So it's up there, up at the top there. Uh, it's just like the two we've seen previously, and uh, it's just the car, uh, the car, the uh, it just car the it corresponds to something we've used previously. 1, 0, 1, part of A, part of C, but not part of B. That's it there, part of A. It's enclosed by the circle A. It's enclosed by the circle B, C, but not by the. It's outside the circle B. So the last one, uh, second last one, one one zero. This is the equivalent for A and B. It's enclosed by a, circle A. It's enclosed by the circle for B, but outside the circle for C. And the very last one here, one one one. It is a region that is enclosed by A, B, and C. So it is the intersection of all three uh, circles there. And uh, so that is how we might use the membership table uh, to correspond with Venn diagrams. I'm going to take those, uh, this uh, up further in a future presentation, but we're going to stop it here for now.